Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm a baker turned website designer and I run the website Bake This Happen, which offers website design and templates for home baking business owners. Today, we're going to be walking through a bakery website so that I can share with you what pages and what information is really essential to have on your bakery website. Now, it's great to just say, oh, you need a website for your bakery. Every business needs a website. But what should you actually include? what is going to help turn visitors to your website into paying customers. So we're going to speak about the homepage, which is of course the page most people will land on when they first discover your website. So we'll talk about images, text, what links you should have on your homepage. Then an about page. I think it's really useful so that customers can get to know you and the story behind you and your bakery. A gallery is also really important to make sure people are in the right place. So if you specialise in rustic wedding cakes, you want to obviously be showcasing that on your website. So somebody looking for brightly coloured kids cupcakes doesn't inquire with you. Then a menu and a price list. For a similar reason, you want to make sure people who are inquiring to order from you or to buy from you are going to, or you're going to be able to provide what they offer. So you want to make sure you're in their price range. You want to make sure you offer the types of products they are after. And then finally, the contact or order page. So that one page where people will get in touch with you to either place their order or to make an inquiry about their order. As a bonus, I'll also speak about adding a blog page to your website. A blog is really great for having new content on your site, which is brilliant for your search engine ranking and Google SEO. So let's dive in and look at a live website. So here we've got a website that we can talk through, going through all of those pages that I mentioned in the intro. Starting with the homepage, what I love to see on every homepage to start with, so right at the top of the page, is a sort of one-liner sentence that lets people know exactly what you do within your bakery and what the most important piece of information about your bakery is. So in this example, we've got wedding cakes baked to order in Cabot Cove, Maine. And if you watch Murder, She Wrote, you'll recognise the town. Um, so as a baker, it's almost always really important to let people know where you're based. Often you will be delivering your orders or having people collect them. So people need to know what area you cover. They also need to know what type of product you bake. So if it's just wedding cakes or cake pops or cookies, let people know exactly what it is you specialise in so they know immediately that they're in the right place or not. You can then expand on this with a sort of subheading or a second sentence. Do keep it short, but as sort of as succinct as possible. So really specific to you and your business. Then we'll have an inquire here button. So that will take people to an order form or an inquiry page where they can get in touch with you to make that initial inquiry or to place their order. It's also really important to have an image of your bakes as one of the first things customers will see when they land on your page. So you can see here we've got two images of wedding cakes and I think those really would let people know the type of cake this baker specialises in. They are both sort of elegant floral images and you can really get a sense of the style of this bakery. So as we continue down the page, what you want to think of when you're thinking of your homepage is that it's sort of a kind of one-stop shop for your whole website. So it's a holding page for all of the information that is contained on your website and you can from here direct people to all of this different content. So the next section we have is highlighting some of the important pages on your site. We have the menu page, the gallery page and the contact page. So that's kind of sequentially how somebody is going to want to discover more about your bakery. They'll first want to see what types of products you offer by browsing your memory, your memory, your menu, and also see what kind of price range you are at to make sure that's compatible with their budget. They'll then want to have a look at your gallery to see if they can see something that's exactly what they're after or a similar style to sort of really inspire them to want to work with you because they just love your cakes. And then finally, they'll want to get in touch to make that inquiry or place an order. 
then you really want to connect your personality and your business with customers browsing your website. So showing an image of yourself or of your baking space is really brilliant for people to sort of learn about the baker behind the business. You can also give a bit of a bio about yourself or your business in here and click through to the full about page. Next, I love to see testimonials on a website, particularly on the homepage. People love hearing what other people have thought of a business or of a product. So pull together your best reviews and showcase them on your website. Then I've added just another area for text. Google and search engines love text on websites. So I would use a spot like this to talk about the types of products you specialize in, maybe speak about the ingredients you use, if they're local ingredients, or speak about an event that you've taken part in or markets that you attend. Just use this as an opportunity to share more information with customers. And lastly here, we've just got a gallery for your favorite cakes, your most popular styles. Just again, selling yourself and your business and showing all of the wonderful things you can provide. The footer section is, it can be really simple. I think having a newsletter sign up is a really useful thing because having a way to get in touch with people that's not reliant on social media is brilliant, but that is a whole other topic for a whole other video. And then lastly in the footer, I would just include links to all of the pages within your site and links to your social media. So if we head back up the top here, we'll run through the other four pages I spoke about in the intro. So first up would be the about page. Now we did touch on this on the home page. So I use the about page to just expand upon that. Tell people your, your story so they can get to know you. They can get to know how much you love baking and how much you love creating whatever your final product is. You can also use this space to share some of your products, but in a fun, unique way. So you can let people know what your favorite products are from the range that you share and sell. And it's a great way to just make people think, oh, that looks great, I want to order that. So use this spot not only as a way to share your personality and your business story, but another place to kind of sell to your potential customers. And don't forget on this page to link to the next page kind of in this sequence of getting to know you, getting to know what you offer, and then finally making the purchase. So next up in this sort of chain of events would be the menu. Here you can decide how much or how, much or how little you do want to share. Um, I think showing at least starting prices on your menu is really helpful. Some people will have a budget in mind before they even start. So there's no point in kind of wasting their time and your time by having them reach out to inquire if you're just going to be sort of way beyond their budget. There are plenty of cake customers to go around. So it's helpful, I think, to at least have a starting from price. So I've done a really simple starting from price here on this template page, but you could be as specific as giving prices for each of your products. It will really depend on what your product is and how you quote. If you sell something like cupcakes, cookies, something that's easy to just have a defined price, I think I would list out the prices next to each of the products. If it's something like celebration cakes, wedding cakes, I think a starting from price is the way to go because of course it will depend on how detailed the order is, what flavors they choose, what any what extras they add onto their orders. So I think a starting from price would be the way to go here. Next up in this sequence is going to be a gallery. There are different options from for how you, you would want to set up your gallery page. It could just be one page with all of your favorite images of your bakes on it, or you can divide it up as I have in this example into different categories. So these categories could be sort of cakes, cupcakes, cookies, or in this example, I've chosen to showcase different events that I've covered. So maybe you do weddings and not only did you provide the cake, but you also had maybe some kind of dessert table, some extras. So this would be really useful for you to add a little bit of text to kind of explain this, let people know exactly what they get from working with you, how you would coordinate with 
their florist with their wedding planner. And then from here, you've got the sort of classic gallery that people can just click through and see the more detailed images of. I've also added in here a wedding dessert table category. So again, this is really going to depend on your business and what is going to be the most sensible way to showcase your products. Um, but I think a gallery is a brilliant way to sell yourself and sell your business. The last page in the sort of sequential steps of working with you is going to be the inquire or um, order page. So I think keep this page quite simple. Of course, we want the order form. A little bit of text just to let people know what they should be getting in touch for. So if it's to make that initial inquiry or to place an order, make that clear. Also let them know what kind of time scale they can expect to hear back from you and what maybe the next steps will be once they've made this initial contact. Also useful to add in your social media links on this page. Um, but the all important uh, order form, before you put this together, do think about what information you want from your customer at this stage. Is it just a really sort of high level inquiry? And from there, you maybe need to speak to them on the phone or by email, or do you want lots of information from them from them at this stage so you can put together your quote based on this inquiry form. And if that was the case, you'd want to be asking how many people they want to serve with their order, what flavors they want, any decoration that they would like, color schemes, the dates they need it for, do they want delivery? You know, of course, the information that you need, but remember to add all of that into your order form. So those I think are the key five pages that every website needs. As a bonus, it can be really helpful to have a blog page on your website. You can do a couple of things with this page. It can be a behind the scenes type of page where you can just show a kind of a snapshot of your bakery. You can also share things like how to plan an event. So if you provide birthday cakes, you could write a blog about how to plan a kid's birthday party. And that is something that people would find within a Google search or a Pinterest search. They'd then come to your website, read that really helpful blog and then think, well, actually I'm going to order from this person. So it can be a really brilliant place to bring traffic to your website, to connect more with your audience, to share with your audience, and of course, to make more sales. So I hope you have found this useful. If you have any questions about building a website for your bakery, what information you should include on that website, do drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you.